The Fremantle Dockers head to Melbourne tomorrow for Saturday night's elimination final against Geelong and a lot will rest on the shoulders of Aaron Sanderlands as Katie Price reports. Sanderlands has silenced even his team's own supporters with three dominant weeks. When Aaron Sandlands was on the sidelines injured, the purple passion for the big man waned. There were even calls from the Frio faithful for him to be traded. You know, Griff did a great job um, while I was out, so, um, yeah, but it wasn't something that crossed my mind. People can criticise if they want, it doesn't really bother me. In his three weeks back, he's clearly showed why he's a star commodity. Averaging 38 hit-outs and with his merry band of midfielders, the Dockers' clearance rate is on the up. Just good to be back in the side. When you don't play for a while, you realise how much you miss it. The lead into this year's final, a far cry from 2010, when Sandlands limped through the semi-final against Geelong, carrying a knee injury. He was a shadow of his usual self. But this time around, he's fresh and firing and seen the benefits of his 10 weeks out. Just the... Uh... Uh, you know, the wear and tear of, you know, the impact all the time. Um, you know, having the 10 weeks off, you, you don't get that as much. 100% now with the feet, so um, touch wood, nothing happens to him. But, um, you know, really confident in the way they go. He's got a fair few hit zones. He can hit the ball anywhere, but um, he's obviously a brilliant player and a fantastic ruckman. Um, so, especially as a midfield group, we're, we'll be looking at a lot of that. And, and um, not only him, but also the players around underneath him. Geelong looms as the big spoiler of Frio's final series and like the cat who got the cream, are enjoying the fear factor. Probably a little bit, I think, mainly just because of our experience. Um, it's something in finals that it, it, you really have to get used to, the intensity, and, and a lot of our guys have played a lot of finals. The Dockers say it's not fear they feel, but respect. We respect them very highly, you know. Um, they've won three flags in the last few years and, you know, they're probably the informed side of the comp at the moment. Katie Price, 10 News.